Just look in the mirror, don't know what to say, but I'm happy the man I is. God damn, we back at it. It is now June 17th. As you can see, it's five minutes after. Logic has released Vinyl Days. This is the last album under the Def Jam's uh, Def Jam contract. It now is gonna be fully independent, like back in the Young Sinatra mixtape days. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a full circle moment, man. He's been signed to Def Jam for basically 10 years now, since uh, right around the time Undeniable came out. It was right around the time he signed to Def Jam. And we got a plethora of music from Logic, hundreds and hundreds of songs that some people will love, others will hate. But it's been a long journey since he's been on the contract with Def Jam. Seven albums. Well, I guess this would be eight, uh, three mixtapes, a soundtrack slash album in the supermarket. And uh, we'll be down to the last one, the vinyl days. The whole release and anticipation on this, on this has been pretty much the last eight, eight or nine months now. Shortly after Bobby Tarantino 3 came out, it's been the anticipation for this album. It was originally supposed to be Ultra 85, then it transitioned to College Park. We're not getting College Park until probably like after this album, then it transitioned to the vinyl days, what we got now. And uh, for the last few weeks now, he's been on the, feet, the, the single run, releasing all the singles. Uh, first track we got was Tetris, then Decades Back to Back. And then the last track last week was Best of Troy featuring Wiz Khalifa. We got seven singles <laughs> in total. This is a long album. It's a 30, 30 songs in total, but it's 23 actual songs. The seven others are skits, interludes, stuff like that. And uh, yeah. Yeah, in the loose skits, and then we already got seven songs, so it's gonna be only 16 that we're gonna listen to today. All the seven songs I already did previous reactions to is gonna be linked down below. Hopefully, down below it should be timestamps and chapters, whatever the case might be, to all the different songs. So it's got, if you want to pick the specific song to see my reaction to, it's gonna be chapters down there you can pick through, and then links to the reactions that I've already done to single songs. So we just skip all of that. The whole album in full is an hour and 11 minutes long. <laughs> God damn, that's long, but it's a lot of his final album on the Def Jam, so I figured, hey, why not just go all out and release as many songs as you possibly can under this contract. And, uh, yeah, like I said, all the, it's going to be seven songs I've ever listened to, so we're going to skip over those, so that's going to save us a little bit of time. But, uh, as we're already three minutes in, and, yeah, this video's going to be long. I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating this video's probably going to be as long as my Kendrick Lamar, Mr. Morales, and Big Stepper's album. So I'm anticipating this reaction video is going to be approximately 45 minutes to an hour long. I don't know if I keep on talking, it's going to keep on extending itself. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to hear what the album's going to be. We got a plethora of features. Logic has collabed in the past. Logic has not collabed with. We got Action Bronson. We got uh, Langston Bristol, Currency, Russ, Wiz Khalifa we've collabed with in the past. We got Doc D. <laughs> Doc D, oh, that's a throwback. Uh, we got Jay Mars, Big Limbo, C. Doc Castro on the, on the track together. A little throwback to uh, Maryland. Shout out to all our Maryland people out there. We got Royce the Five Nine, uh, Nisa Mamudo. We got Like Blue and Exile for Orville. We got AZ. Shout out to AZ. That's a legendary, legendary rapper. One of the most underrated rappers of all time, in my opinion. Digi Premier and The Game. So, I think I'm not missing anything. Oh, yeah, disclaimer, disclaimer. Yeah, this disclaimer. God, I can't forget this. This is a full album reaction review. It's gonna be a lot of jumps, cuts, and skips. It's not something I wanna do, it's just something I have to do. Logic, this album is on the Def Jam, so the record labels, WMG, UMG, they like to block a lot of videos, copyright a lot of videos, so if I play a song all the way through, it's gonna get blocked and copyrighted, I'm just doing this reaction just for, it's gonna get blocked, so no one's gonna be able to see it, so why I even do this thing to begin with. So there's gonna be a lot of jumps, cuts, and skips in between songs. It's not something I wanna do, it's just something I have to do. With all that being said, I'm gonna get me a drink of water, get, get some get some drinks for you, get some snacks, maybe get a whole meal, because it's gonna be a long, long video for this. So I further do Logic, the last album under Def Jam, Vinyl Days. The first track is called Danger. So I'm more interested to see if this is like a full extended track or just an intro track to the actual album. I don't know. It's on the way we'll find out, right? I'm Norman Freeman. I just wanted to take a moment. Logic did say he had Morgan Freeman, Freeman as a feature on his track, and then we got a narration, it seems like, from Morgan Freeman. Shout out to 21 Savage getting Mor Morgan Freeman to narrate <laughs> Savage Mode 2. That was absolutely insane. Morgan Freeman, take it away. My day to inform every other rapper in the game that Logic 
is the goat. Retire for what? Oh, yeah, that's also a Funk Flex. Funk Flex is also uh, like narrating over the entirety of the album. We got a snippet of that on Breath Con at the end of Breath Control with Wiz Khalifa on the last track. So if we're going to hear Funk Flex throughout the entirety of this album in some capacity, some people are going to hate it, some people are going to love it, but Funk Flex is a legend in my opinion. It's the You, 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 you. And that's Danger. That was a nice little quick track, nice little intro track. We got a nice little quick voiceover from uh, Morgan Freeman. And then, like I said, Funk Flex is going to be untitled as his album. The next track will be Tetris. We already did a reaction to Tetris way back when. It was back in like March, April, somewhere around there. So that link is going to be down out below. But the next track we got is In My Lifetime featuring Action Bronson. It's going to be interesting to see how they come together. You know, they've been friends with each other for the last better part of a decade now. It's been interesting that they never came together for a track. We finally gave it a final date. So without further ado, in my lifetime. It sounds like Ashton Bronson time to type of production. Good old boom bat, baby. Three six mafia. That's wild. And that's in my lifetime future Action Bronson. I thoroughly enjoyed that track. Like I said, that sample, the sample reminds me of something that would be very Action Bronson, especially with his recent album that came out a few weeks ago. And then uh, it was a nice little boom bap sample. I'm telling y'all, I love me some boom bap. So it's been logic that his best is a boom bap. And then all of, pretty much, I think four or five of the singles was boom bap style tracks. So. You already got me right there, Logic. So I thoroughly enjoyed that track. Nice little, nice little quick track. Nice, uh, I believe it's like two minutes long. Each artist got approximately a minute long. And uh, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that track. Next track would be Decades, but once again, I already did a reaction to Decades, link down below. But the next track we're gonna listen to is called J.J. Abrams, which is only 20 seconds long. It's gonna be a skit. J.J. Abrams, uh, Logic and J.J. Abrams are coming together for a movie that's coming out sometime in the future. Who knows when that's actually coming out, but you know, it's been pause of COVID and all that. But J.J. Abrams, what do you got to say? And that's J.J. Abrams. J.J. Abrams was pretty much probably like a voicemail that he left to Logic just saying, I'm a, probably heard, he said he heard a, heard a cut of Ronald Days. He's like, damn, this is what the retirement sounds like. That motherfucker was retired for six months, released Pantone Destruction, and later on in the year we got Bob. That, that's, that's a whole different conversation. I thought that this man really had me thinking he was going to go away for like two, three years and came back. Not even six months later, but that's a different conversation. The next track we got is Black White Boy. Now this track scares the living daylights out of me because we all know the whole history of the biracial meme and a lot of you talk about being black and white, being biracial, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I see the title of this track, Black White Boy. I, I got scared as fuck. I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared as fuck of this track. But if Logic made Dad Brock an absolutely solid track with the name of the, the, the track being Dad Brock, hopefully, hopefully he does his justice with Black White Boy. Track is three or one minutes long. <laughs> Ooh. That is that is big fast, man. This is something that people gotta give logic flowers for is just paying homage to everyone that came before him. Everyone that's came up with him, and everyone that's coming up after him, it's like he always paid homage to everyone, from the Coles to the Rizzas to the Wu Tang to the 
to the Roddy Riches out here. Everyone that's old or young or his age, approximately, he always pays homage to all those who, who represents hip-hop in some way, shape, or form. Whether it's the old 90s boom bap days or the 2020 trap days of, of today. You know, he always pays homage to everyone. He always shouts everyone out in some sort of capacity. And I wish other artists would do that more. And uh, ho hopefully people give Logic his flowers for making an album like this, which is very old school, 90s boom bap style, but a mixture of no school. Hopefully people play, give him his flowers, but that's a different conversation for a different day, I guess. But hopefully people give him his flowers. I made 50 million when I went pop, but everybody know when Logic pick up the mic, bars drop. I respect this generation. You are walking hand in hand with a real one, I'm still one. I'm trying to slice open my veins just to feel something. Mm. Spill my blood in the real all the time, boy, you best believe. Shout out to Rat Pack. <laughs> and that's Black White Boy. I thoroughly enjoyed that track. That track was definitely, you know, like I said, the title of the track had me scared, but Logic was absolutely snappy, he was absolutely flowing in it, especially at the end there. He kind of reminds me, uh, was it theme? I think it was a theme for the people from Bible Tarantino 3. No, yeah, it was a combination of theme for the people and also inside. Yeah, it was a combination of those tracks where he talked about the, what was going through his mind, like at the peak of his pinnacle, of his making the amount of money, the peak of his uh, popularity, so to speak, and how he, he wanted to off himself pretty much. Uh, him breaking down at Pittsburgh in, all, in a performance back in 2018, I believe. And then he, he talked about why he was putting out so much music and why he wanted to retire because he got inspired and now he got an inspiration back because this motherfucker, the, the production is crazy man, the production is going crazy on this album. Not, not only not only his raps and rhymes, his bars and the rhyme schemes, the lyricism and all that, but also the production. The production is absolutely lame. So I thoroughly enjoyed that. Black White Boy had me scared of the title, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. The next track we got is Cubes. I'm a butcher. Cusai? Quasi? Quasi. I think it's Quasi. <laughs> That's how I went to it. Magic coming soon. 2024. <laughs> Ooh. And that's Quasi. That's, that track is pretty much paying homage to Mad Lib, one of the greatest producers of all time. One of the most producers, one of those producers that kind of go under the radar, get slipped under the radar amongst the greatest of all time producers. But like, yeah, I guess that's, uh, I guess maybe he made that song and then somehow got into Mad Lib's ears and like, oh, I want to get with Logic and then. That's what came into fruition in 2021, but it was making those uh, Mad Lib tracks. Or maybe uh, some of those tracks was already produced by Mad Lib and then Logic hopped on them. And I guess they just linked up, hopped together, and now we're getting a Magic album. Like I said, 2024, maybe? I don't know. It may be seen when we might ever get that album. But with Logic being independent, I'm sure we're going to get a lot, of, a lot of music coming over the years. So shout out to Mad Lib. We're one of the greatest producers of all time to do it. The next track we got is La Donda. I'm confused on what this is. It's over two minutes long, so it's not a skit. So is it paying homage to Kanye West's mom, Donda? Because we got Donda 1 last year, and then the unreleased Donda 2 version this year, like this, earlier this year. Maybe get the... Let's just find out. <laughs> I guess it's actually, I guess it's confirming in this track that we actually get in College Park, which is supposed to be like a double album like Vinyl Days of, and I suppose like the first half, or like one of the halves is very hip hop based, and the other half is like more supermarket esque, which is gonna be interesting to see how he does that together. But College Park, I guess this is the next album we got coming. <laughs> Shout out to Chance the Rapper. Shout out to Need a Drop. I 
That's cr- that's crazy how that that's, that's a full circle moment for for even even I I like, like ugh, even I dislike Fantano because he, he hated logic music. But then over time, especially as me doing music reaction, music reviews, cha- uh, videos, I come to understand why uh, or come to un- respect, I guess in the sort of way Fantano and the things he do. Like yes, he's very antagonizing. Yes, he's he can d- destroy music in some ways, and especially when he's your favorite artist, he can destroy. It, and you be like, how can you destroy this? Is everything po- possibly nah, I, I possibly love, and you absolutely destroyed it? But you know, this thing has different pu- different perspective of things. He look at things very differently, very objectively as he possibly can, and some obviously some subjectivity into it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a full circle moment. How logic dislike Fantano, but come to understand now they're like cool homies, and Fantano is actually on his track speaking in some way, shape, or form later on down in the in, in, in the track list but uh yeah so it's a full circle moment for for logic and fantano to come together they also did a live stream earlier today which i didn't watch because i was for framing from any live stream any previews anything like that just get the full spirits of vinyl days it's about Yeah, that's facts. This is a full circle moment, man. He used to comment on forums, comment on Reddit threads, Twitter threads, and now he's just like a full circle moment. Like, damn, I made it now. I'm trying to comment on this. I, just, I should just relax. It's, everyone has their own opinion at the end of the day. Everyone has their own opinion. It might be good in your perspective. It might be bad in your perspective. At the end of the day, all this is opinion. Just roll with it. Uh, so that's LaDonda. Interesting track. Interesting title name. The next track we got is Aaron Judge, which is a skit with Aaron Judge. I'm assuming this is maybe Aaron Judge... Saying praising logic in some way, shape, or form. Let's just find out, I guess. Yep, Aaron Judge calling it. Bobby, it's Aaron Judge, man. How about we get you out to the stadium, chop up some beats. Get How did this man get Aaron Judge to call in and <laughs> pay homage in some way, shape, or form? Which is, which is crazy, absolutely. Aaron Judge, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong for all the baseball fan. Aaron Judge is like 6'8", 280 solid. <laughs> Swinging baseball bat. Put this man in the NBA. That's, that's a large individual playing baseball. But uh, shout out to Aaron Judge playing homage to Logic. The next track we got now is Clouds featuring Langston Bristol and Currency. And the thing about this track is that Currency, he, he like wrote a letter in music form, obviously, to Logic in some way, shape, or form. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, it's like a, a letter of Logic basically about probably some of the issues he was talking about in his music or some, some way, shape, or form. But of course, we're going to find out in the track itself. Uh, but yeah, this is not this like it could have been like interpreted that the, the the verse could be interpreted as like a hate letter to logic or like but it could be interpreted as a, like a message that I'm trying to help you up, trying to bro you up, and like trying to be a big brother to you. So we should be sure. Currency is he's one of he went, he's another one of those honorated artists in the rap game who's been doing it for a extended period of time. So without further ado, clouds. Oh, the, the vibe of the production is like so laid back. You just want to vibe out to it. But not like up, the, the up-tempo speed, the up-tempo cadence of, of Logic's flow. It's like, it's like, I want to like just vibe out to it, but then like the lyrics is just like, all of them trying to keep up. It's just it's a crazy mixture, but it's working out so well. What you want? Finally, yeah, this bitch, I'm finally gone. Low key, I've been waiting for so long. Low key, trying to get trophies with my dogs. Show me, you'll see my face smiling on the front of a billboard. While I'm on the E-way, I wish life was easy. If you a hater, then get the fuck about the way. Fake end over here. I'll look you dead in the soul and tell you. I can give a fuck the shit you want, but I'm really trying to put you on guard. Low key, I've been waiting for so long. B switch? Now I love me some B switches. Being sweet, I was crashing beats. Cause the paper don't sleep and my loved ones had knees. Use a cold motherfucker. My homies always remind me. They lift me up like that bound me. Inspirational ass motherfucker. Ask my brother. Hustles like no other. Rolls from my central bro. Besides the bed, she's watching deep cover. Gucci roll the way back, do it V duffel. And that's Clouds featuring Langston, Bristol, and Currency. That track. 
what, 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 why do people say that track was supposed to be like a l letter to logic? I, I, I don't know. But I thoroughly enjoyed that track. The nice little laid back style of the track. Nice little vibe. Nice little vibe. Like I said, with the up tempo speed of, of logic's flow of Katie. Just, just like the mixture. It was a perfect mixture. And then we got the B switches, the currency verse, verse at the end. I thoroughly enjoyed that track. Um, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that track. Uh, the next track we got is Michael Rap, which is a skit or interlude. Uh, yeah, it's only 45 seconds long. I have no idea where this is going to go, but of course, let's find out. Logic, Bobby, <laughs> oh, is it Michael Rappaport, I think? Yeah, yeah, okay, there we go. I said I was a fan. I was lying. Michael Rappaport trolling like a motherfucker. <laughs> Shout out to Michael Rappaport. The next track we get is, is Tony Rovaroli? <laughs> Tony Rovaroni. Rovaloroni. Rovalo. Say that shit three times fast, motherfuckers. <laughs> Let's hop into it. Yo, man, it's Tony Rovaroli. What's good? We still on for this movie night tonight? I want to check if we're still good for this movie night tonight. This man really want this movie night. Bobby Bitcoin. Bobby Billboard. Bobby Billards. See, here's my question. I want to know if that is actually a real person that just somehow got Logic's number and was leaving 20, 30 odd voicemails and he just turned that into the skit. I pray to God that that's not what just happened. And that just like a, a person he knows that he just did this and not an actual real person that somehow got Lodge's number was leaving voicemails over and over again. I, that's what I hope would just happen. But uh, very interesting to say the least. The next track is Rogue, Rogue One. Rogue One is only a minute and a half long, so it's going to be interesting to see how it sounds. That's what we're going to do. He is not about to sample this. He is not about to sample this. What a classic sample. He snapped. He snapped on us. And that's Rogue One. Yeah, yeah, Flunk Flex. Yeah, Logic was absolutely snap, absolutely sliding on that. A, can't, a classic, absolute classic sample right there. And uh, yeah, he was definitely snapping. That's definitely one of those, I don't know, a minute and a half. I'm like, he's probably going to like fast rap and just absolutely snap on us. He absolutely did. So I enjoy that track, Rogue One. The next track will be Wiz Khalifa uh, Breath Control. But uh, like I said, I already did a reaction to that. That song came out last week, so the link down below to that. But the next track we got called is Nims. Interesting title in theater. Guess it's an acronym, because it isn't all caps, so it's probably an acronym or something. Let's find out. Classic comparison. That shit is, yeah, it's been seen. It's been seen. <laughs> so it looking like an inside out Oreo. <laughs> That's that. How do you look like it? <laughs> Whatever. The next track is Nord War featuring Doc D, which is Doc D is actually Logic back in Plant Toys and Choice. I did a reaction to that uh, mixtape back way back when, when it first came out. Uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that mixtape. The production absolutely insane. The bars rap was like, eh, but it was Logic having fun with mostly. It's more so to showcase his uh, creativity and his production. And then we got Narwar, one of the greatest interviews of all time. I swear this motherfucker either works for or has plugs in the FBI, CIA, Interpool, because this motherfucker knows shit that even artists are like, how the hell do you know this about me and my, my family and all that shit, etc. etc. So, no, but no, shout out to Narwar, one of the greatest of all time. And uh, yeah, let's all hop into it. Shout out to Narwar. Classic. Doc D, man. Who the hell would've got Doc D on here? <laughs> That's a track on Plants of Destruction. Fuck Sharon, connected on the 
<laughs> Shout to Sharon. <laughs> Okay, that's uh, that's that's Doc D. I guess that confirms that Doc. Well, at the end of Plan to Destruction, Doc D was, was was still alive. He he still continued on. So this pretty much confirms that we're getting a a Plan to Destruction, a Doc D uh, project part two uh, from Logic Doc D uh, in an upcoming future. So that's gonna be interesting to see how that sounds with uh, with a, with a free mixtape sound. It's gonna be a lot of samples, a lot of, a lot of samples, a lot of movie scenes, references, and skits and stuff interplayed on that. Definitely go check out the Plan Toy Destruction reaction. That was definitely enjoyed. That showcased Logic's creativity. Get, gives us a throwback to the Young Sinatra mixtape days and with some of the things he sampled from movies and other songs and stuff like that. So, yeah, we get Doc D sometime in the future, 2025. <laughs> we get College Park next year. We're getting uh, 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 Mad Labor 2024 and then Doc D 2025. That's, how, that's the top, that's the pipeline so far. The next track is Kickstyle, which in J-Mar, shout out to J-Mars, I hear he absolutely snaps on here. Big Lambo and C-Dot Cash Oh, man, this is a homage to the original Rat Pack members. Big Lambo and C-Dot Cash Oh, who recently signed onto Bobby Will Records for, for a time. It's crazy, it's a full circle moment for Logic and C-Dot Cash Oh. They came up together and worked together for over a decade now. So it's good to see that they're coming together for a track. It's going to be interesting to see the future for C-Dot Cash Oh. So without further ado, Kickstyle with J-Mars. Big Lambo and good old see that Castro. As you can see, I am proficient in the art of thinking for my kickstyle. Oh, Something about to be some Wu Tang type shit. Yep, sound like some Wu Tang type shit. Let's go, Jay Mars. Thank you. I love that you're feeling this like what draws ain't too. Struggling to wait through. I'll deliver peace on a planet to the hateful. See me shining in their face and then they suck unless I'm waiting for the PLA. Ooh, Jay Mars. You about to go back and forth for logic? That was a spoof head, though. You about to go back and forth? You about to go back and forth? Shout out to you, J. Mar. Shout out to you. See Doc Castro. the hell out of us. And that's Kickstyle featuring J. Mars, Big Limbo, C. Dot Casual. That's all original, some of the original members of Rat Pack and then Curry and Treasure and on to uh, Bobby Boy Records. Shout out to you, J. Mars. You was absolutely stabbing this track. I wasn't expecting you and Logic to go back and forth on the track, but y'all, you was, you was absolutely snapping. Big Limbo, I'm excited to see what he does in the future. We got Strange Days five years ago on, on SoundCloud. We got like a, it was like eight, 10 tracks, something like that. Can't wait for his next project. And then we got C. Cash, like I said early on. I'm sorry for C. Cash to see the future of him being being signed with Logic on Bobby Bill Records and the direction he goes. Because we haven't gotten music from him because he's been in prison for about four or five years. But in the history that Logic had, them, them coming up them together and then being separated for several years and then coming back together is a full circle moment. So I thought you enjoyed that track. A nice little throwback to the original Rat Pack days. And then in addition, on with Jay Mars to bring on some Bobby Bill Records. So I thought you enjoyed that track. Nice little Wu-Tang style beat like I said early on I thoroughly enjoyed that track the next track we got is early bird which is only a little over a minute long so it's probably basically a skit so let's find out what it's all about it's like you're showing who you are you're showing what your influences are you're on to this thing so you're honoring it with those details it would be logical for you to call me back <laughs> That is, that is big facts though. When we, 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 the individual was talking about when when you're sampling, it just showcases the music that you grew up on, and you paying homage to them, and because the, the, shape the way you created music, shape the way the person you want. So it, it sucks for sometimes now. Speaking of samples, you know, Joey Badass 2000 album was supposed to come out at this time, and I was going to react to it right after this, but. 
the, the samples didn't get clear, so it was pushed back at, at least two weeks from now. So it's just, and Logic had his own history with samples not getting clear. Like for example, the Lost in uh, Translation was the sample go crazy. You ever seen the? They had seen the the sound of the snippet from a uh, Hard Knock TV. Uh, yeah, just just the whole thing with samples not getting clear. It's like it's like they giving you money to get the sample clear, and it's still like no sample, no no my music. It's just like. It is what it is. But uh, the next track we got is 10 Years featuring Royce the 5 9. And then this track is produced by JRB, who was signed to Bobby Ware Records. This, this young individual is only 15 years old and then releasing this producer for legends like Logic and Royce the 5 9. is absolutely insane. 15 year olds doing that. At 15 years old, I don't think I was worried about playing Call of Duty and trying to get good grades in some capacity. But 10 Years, Royce the 5 9. That's how I'm into it. Kept their lights on, yeah. And that's 10 years for your worst ride five nine. Shout out to JRB getting two legends to rap on one of those beats gonna be interesting to see what his fruition. His future's gonna look like being on 15 years old again, two less to rap on his track. That was a nice little laid back track before from Logic and Worcester 5 9. It wasn't the craziest bars of all time, but just the laid back nature of the beat, and the production, they were just riding, the way they were flowing, it was just so good, so well, uh, good mixture. And the next track we got is Porter One featuring RZA. Now, RZA is where Logic started off with hip hop. No, RZA. Uh, did the soundtrack for Kill Bill, and that's when Logic found about RZA. That's when he found about Wu Tang Clan and hip hop and the rest of his history. But without RZA, we won't have Logic. RZA is definitely one of those influences. Where without him, we don't have Logic as today. So definitely have them come together. It's gonna be absolutely insane. Sorry for to do Porter One featuring RZA. <laughs> Twenty twenty four, I'm telling you, twenty twenty four. Paying homage, man, paying homage. And that's Porter One featuring RZA, man. Shout out to RZA, absolute legend, man. Without RZA, there won't be no Wu Tang. Without Wu Tang, there won't be a plethora of artists out here. There definitely won't be Logic. So definitely shout out to RZA. RZA is the whole reason that we have Logic. The whole reason why we got Wu Tang forever back in Young Sinatra for. Shout out to RZA, man. He he, was, he, he absolutely loves Logic. He always pays how Logic. Pays homage to Logic for everything he does for hip hop because Logic at the end of the day is hip hop. And I thoroughly enjoy that track. Next track we got is Needle Drop, which is obviously Anthony Fantano. Shout out to him. Um, I guess it's going to be Anthony Fantano talking, to, talking whatever he's going to be talking about. And also, of course, Logic referenced uh, Anthony Fantano back on. Uh, was it Clouds? No, LaDonna. LaDonna was that was, that was so long ago. <laughs> that was back on LaDonna where he was representing Anthony Fantano and Needle Drop. So uh, let's well see what Anthony Fantano has for us. Anthony Fantano is dragging this out. <laughs> And that's Needle Drop and the Fantano just dragged that all the way out and say Logic. Uh, Logic was like, 
that's good. That's good enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. Now, that was, that was, that's just exemplifying everything that's about you, Anthony Van Tan. <laughs> the whole thing right there. The next track we got is Introducing Nezzy. And featuring Nezzy Mamamoto? Mama. Ma Momo do Momo do There we go. Momo do uh, no, no idea what it is, but it says introducing him. So maybe it's the next artist that's going to be signed on to Bobby Boy Records. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe y'all can coach me. I don't know. Maybe y'all can coach me. Let's hop into it. Why you rapping so scared to put others on? Any musician I find, I'll let them shine like Tron. Press the demo and pass it. You furious, I'm too fast. Like ludicrous bitch sipping signed to me in the village. Ooh, Ooh bitch, get out the way. Steady in a gym, nothing but curls like I'm acidic. Too sick with it. Sits back when my heart of Compton. All the way to Gators work by stomping. Legends love logic, be my features alone. Hey, this top shit fans is that accepted by some weirdo on YouTube with a podcast. Retire now, I'm back. No fucks having a blast. That's facts. Black woman from the land of Nigeria, the way she flow these MCs know that they inferior. She's about to snap on us? Lyrically homicidal, fight those being for your idol, vital for the G's and somebody hide his knees, hide his dream on the sleeve. My articulations and anomalies. I get pleased, switching. Triple, yeah, stay up on the chrome, 24 like Tia. Oh, 24? Oh, that's a classic travel TI, man. Oh, that's one of my favorite songs on TI's. Oh. Oh, that's a classic 24 quasi close. That's a lot of my brother's roll. Oh, man. I love 24s, man. She represents all. Oh, I love 24s, as you can see. Oh, that music. Thank you for that reference. Oh, that's a throwback. That's a throwback. If I clock the hate that they can eat me in the dungeon, I be with the goons. Told you I'm a fool. I ain't got the beach that I teach ya. Big big spitting. Kind of elected over here. If I'm not the illest, who you feeling is jokes, huh? Yes. Logic. Nessie. And that's introducing Nessie. Nessie. Absolutely solid. Shout out to her for, for, for Logic. Maybe maybe that's one of the artists that Logic found from when he did the Decades uh, uh, TikTok challenge with Open Fresh. Maybe he found Nezzy through that. So shout out to her. She was actually snap, absolutely flowing. Great to see the future she has and probably, probably signed on to Bobby Bobby Records. And then, yeah, that, that was, yeah, Logic was absolutely snapping his verse and handed off, as he said throughout the entirety of his verse, handed off to Nezzy, like her shine and the way she absolutely snapped. And then <laughs> having me, me getting the nostalgia, <laughs> thinking about 24s by T.I. Oh, that, that's a fucking throwback. I love it. I love 24s by T.I. Thoroughly enjoyed that track introduced to Nessie. The next track will be Orville featuring Like Blue and Exile. We already did a reaction to the track. Link down below. But the next track we got is Carnival featuring one of the most underrated lyricists of all time in AZ. Shout out to AZ. One of, like I said, one of the most underrated lyricists to be doing in the game. He, of course, we all know from, from uh, what was that? Uh, Team with Nas on Illmatic. I'm forgetting the track. Not, not Life is a Dice Game. Um, not New York State of Mind. Damn, I'm forgetting the track. Let me down below what the track is. I'm forgetting. I'm fucking. God, how am I forgetting that track? That's a legendary. Uh, Life's a bitch. There we go. Life's a bitch. God damn. <laughs> That's that features AZ. Um, but yeah. Shout out to AZ, man. One of the greatest of all time. Let's send out what this track Carnival is all about. AZ, man. AZ. What makes it Hey, play homage, life's a bitch, do you die? Got D. Three drops of the rock. Oh, I remember that. I remember that. Uh, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me finish first. Let me actually, let me, let me finish her. And that's Carnival Feature Easy. What I wanted to pause it at the end there was that I remember that from where Logic was showing some snippets. Like after he retired, after No Pressure came out, he was showcasing some on a live stream. In fact, he was streaming on Twitch. He had uh, he was showcasing some random snippets of uh, some songs. And I remember that that the, 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 uh, 
uh, Biden uh, 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 bar from, from when he was showcasing those snippets way back when. I think that was August of 2020. He also showcased some of the songs from uh, from uh, Bobby Tino 3. He probably got songs from uh, College Park. I mean, it, it, that was a nice little track. Man. I thoroughly enjoyed that. AZ opened up with a solid verse and Logic Coast that was a solid verse. Thoroughly enjoyed Carnival. The next track we got is Lena's Insights. I'm going to be with probably the final skit of the album, probably so far. Maybe Sarah knows like a combination of a skit, but let's find out what Lena's Insight has to say. Alright, those are my two thoughts. Let me feel pretty honest to where I'm at right now. In terms of, you know, the artist's journey, you know, why we do what we do. Oh, it's cool. It's more about, oh shit, okay, alright, I'm gonna sit with that. <laughs> um, and this is not for your album. This is just me telling you something to think of the same thing. Unfortunately, it's on the album, girl. I'm guessing Lena is like Logic's artist dealer of some sort, or she's an artist and she sells Logic some. Well, yeah, uh, whatever. Um, yeah, nice little skit. Shout out to Lena, whoever she might be. I'm not exactly sure who that is. Uh, next track would be the title track, Vinyl Days. That's one of my favorite tracks of the singles that we got. Probably still in my top five from, from, from the whole album overall so far. But the next track we're going to listen to is I Guess I Love It featuring the game. Logic in the game comes together for a track. I'm very interested to see how the production is. It's like, is this going to be some hardcore uh, West Coast style music that we got that that the game is known notorious for rapping on, or it's gonna be more East Coast boom bap style. I'm interested to see how the production goes, and then obviously how Logic and the game is gonna sound together on this track. So I guess I love it. Preaching the game. Let's see what it's all about. I'm already liking the sample. It's probably gonna be boom bap. Yep, it's boom bap. Let's go. Open up with the game. <laughs> you, 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 you. I kind of feel like I'm back in the basement again. I make a masterpiece easy, like I'm tracing it in. Flow so ill, that shit was born in a triage. I got more tracks than heroin addicts. When my son goes to sleep, but as a child through my teens, all I heard was automatics. Now, the contrast. A million platinum plaques and billions of streams. I used to think this shit was the definition of dreams. I guess I love it. Uh, Title of the track, man. Does the beat switch back to the original beat? And it was with some supermarket, some teasers for College Park. And that's, I guess I love it, featuring the game third and enjoy that track. We got an East Coast boom bap style, which I was hoping, I was actually hoping more for a West Coast style track, but I love the, the, the sample, the production of that track, and the game will hit us with a little melodic verse. And then we got Logic with the B switch, and that also hit us with a nice little vibe, Easy style track, and thoroughly enjoy that track. And now, we're down to the last track. On final days, it's 1.35 in the morning. <laughs> As you can see, it's 1.35 in the morning. Late as all hell, I had to stop multiple times because the camera's been overheating. We were down to the last track. The last track being Sarah Nara. It's just over 10 minutes long, so we're going to be here for even longer. I'm probably going to be stop recording probably around, almost probably hitting 2 o'clock in the morning. Probably going to stop recording because it's a 10 minute track. But it's gonna be interesting to see what this track is all about. Is this logic saying fuck you to Def Jam? Is this logic paying homage to Def Jam? Thank you for all y'all done for me, even though y'all fucked up sometimes here and now. Is it just gonna say thank you to the rap pack? Probably gonna be all of those things all combined. So I've heard it do the last track. Y'all probably drinks and snacks is all going out. We got a little bit, get the little, little nibbles, a couple little nibbles, a couple little chews in. Down to the last track around the days. Sarah. I say I love Def Jam. Def Jam changed my fucking life. There's definitely some fuck boys in that building, some suits wearing ties and shit. Man, but I fucking love y'all. Let's get to this shit. Here we go. This my Friday night lights, track 19. From Major Shout out to J. Cole. That's my word. I took a young kid out of Gaithersburg for helping me build an empire that I'm still building. Then he said a rapper only gets five kids. We doubled that. Independent now, we double that. I 
Mm-hmm. He probably has a whole list just right now, so you don't forget anybody. Mm -hmm. I believe it was eight times platinum to be specific. Oh, drop the fire while we waited. This industry is fucked up. Logic as a rapper is an anomaly in what hip hop was and can still be. So it makes sense of one of America's great folk music, and that's hip hop. And there's very few people who care enough. Logic's one of those dudes. And the reason Maslow and I decided that we wanted to work with him to be an old thing because it's been around since the early 70s is actually just in its infancy. And it's that is facts. That like is Logic facts. He's one of those dudes. But I have that belief. <laughs> they really closed out with Thalia. Throw back to uh, Under Pressure, how Under Pressure closed out with uh, the distorted audio. And that's Logic, Ronald Days, his last album, The Def Jam. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Man, what what a, what an album. What a, what a crazy, solid album from Logic. Absolutely insane to think the, 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 the historic career he has had with... Uh, the entirety of this of his career under Def Jam, the ups and downs, the, the trials and tribulations, some of the fucked up shit, some of the positive shit, uh, a divorce, remarried, his own son now, which is over two years old. It's just crazy, man. It's just crazy how much has gone over since he's been signed to Def Jam. And it's gonna be interesting to see how he goes being independent. Like I said, College Park is supposed to be the next album. 2023, I'm predicting 2024, we getting Mad Lip Magic with uh, Mad Lip, and then 2025, we getting, uh, what is it, Dot D, Planetary Destruction Part 2. <laughs> and then from there on, who knows, maybe a Papa Chantino 4, a Young Sinatra 5, who knows what, what the future beholds, but we for sure getting a College Part, a Magic, and a, and a Planetary Destruction Part 2. But of all days, thoroughly enjoy it. The production, absolutely solid, pay homage to hip hop, everyone that came before Logic. Features all did a solid job. The boom, the mostly boom bap style nature of, the, of this album, absolutely insane. The, the, some of the samples, absolutely insane. I wish some of the like many of the skits had a good, good production, good samples. I wish it was actually used for tracks instead of for skits, but it's neither here nor there. At least we get to hear them at the end of the day, right? Um, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed this album. Definitely one of my favorite albums from Logic. Uh, some of my favorite songs. So obviously, from the singles, uh, give you my top three, four. I give you my top three from the singles: Therapy Music at the top, Vinyl Days, and then Breath Control Future Bits Cleo. That's my favorite from the singles, and then from the rest of the album, uh, In My Lifetime, Black White Boy, uh, Clouds, uh, Rogue One, Kickstyle. 10 Years, Porter One, uh, Introducing Nezzy, Nezzy Absolutely Snap, Carnival, uh, uh, and I Guess I Love It featuring the game. So that's some of my favorite songs. So I thoroughly enjoyed this album. This is very long, over an hour and 11 minutes combined, but luckily we got seven singles we were able to skip through with them, and the skips was relatively short. It's almost 1 in the morning recording. Um, if I had to rate it out of 10, First listen, first impressions, I will give it a solid eight. Only reason why I take some points off is because it's the length. Even though I love Logic, 30 songs, 23 songs, it's long and extensive, but uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it either way. The skits got kind of repetitive because it's just people paying homage in some way, shape, or form. Uh, shout out to Funk Flex with narrating over the album. Logic paying homage to Funk Flex and everything he does for hip hop. Uh, but yeah. Uh, what else should I mention? What am I forgetting? Oh yeah, how I rank this in Logic's discography? I say I say top three. I say by albums. No, including mixtapes is a different discussion. I always say if you didn't know, Welcome to Forever is Logic's best project. I don't think he's ever gonna top that for me. But let's talk about albums. I rank Under Pressure, 
Uh, this is all under Def Jam, by the way. Obviously, it's gonna be interesting to see how the future beholds, but under pressure, tits, vinyl days, no pressure, young Sinatra 4, and then everything else can go in a different following, different sequence. But uh, yeah, I thoroughly enjoy vinyl days, thoroughly enjoy the production, the raps, the bars, the rhymes, paying homage to everyone that came before Logic, that came up with Logic, and everyone that's coming up with, com coming after Logic. Uh, Logic definitely paid homage to everyone that just came in and rooted in deepness and the originalness of hip hop and everything that pushed forward, kind of like how Sarah Nora, who was the, the person that was talking at the end, how much uh, Logic pays homage to hip hop, how much he loves and truly loves hip hop, where he wants to go for it in the future. I absolutely love Logic for that. So, hopefully, people give Logic his flowers for making an album like this, which is rooted in hip hop, very hip hop esque, with under little samples. I know those samples cost money because I know there's a lot, a lot of samples and references on this album. But uh, yeah, Logic, Rhino Day is thoroughly enjoy it. Comment down below what you think about this album. Is this Logic's best album? How you ranking it? Is this is top five, top three, and then number one, and the best grades of all time? And comment down below. But I'm down. I'm tired. It's pushing two o'clock in the morning. I'm about to edit this video, which is going to take forever. This video is probably going to be close to an hour long. If I keep talking, it's going to keep going to an hour long. But definitely comment down below what you think about the album, what you think about reactions to the album, etc., etc. Logic, this last album, Under Death Chance, Vinyl Days. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, if you like the video, please like the video. I got more content like this always coming soon, so please subscribe. Logic's last album on the Death Jam, Vinyl Days. Thoroughly enjoy it. But now, I gotta edit this video, and actually what I'm gonna do after this is, is Drake released an album. Honestly, never mind, it's the title of the album. Surprise release from Drake. So I'm gonna edit this video, and record that video up. Hopefully I get that up by like 8 in the morning, but hopefully I get this video up by like 4.35 in the morning. I don't know. You'll, you'll find out, I guess, when the video gets uploaded. Whew, I'm tired. But I'll see you next video. Drake reaction. Peace.